the Theatre of Dreams plays host to its 14th semi-final. The billboards boast the usual sprinkling of glitterati, but happily and fascinatingly, this showpiece occasion has been gate-crashed by the footballing equivalent of the local repertory company. All the big names belong to Middlesbrough. The chance of a unique place in cup history lies very much with the spirited Spyrites. No team from their level has ever reached the final, for that matter, nor have Middlesbrough. Fleming. Oh, Deitch missed it. Ravanelli could be in. Janino and Beck all available. This is Janino! And that is as close as we've come. Janino. Emerson. Jules is still following Janino. But that's leaving gaps elsewhere. Kinder. Hignett. Beck, nice flick, Ravanelli. Another chance goes begging. Muster. Ravanelli. Back from Giannino. Still it's Ravanelli, Deitch can't get in a tackle. Emerson, precisely to Giannino. Tom Curtis got a vital foot in. This is Deitch. Morris, that's good. And here's Kevin Davis. Oh, pulled back by Kinder. It's his second offence. And Vladimir Kinder is off. As I said earlier, he got booked very silly. Silly booking early doors, and that's cost him. Uh, he's going, he only got himself to blame. The referee made a good decision. That was in a final. Chesterfield are trying to get to a final. And this is Howard. Three waiting for the cross. Davis! Chesterfield have done it! The skylights have spiralled into the lead. And this is Morris. Festus the defender. It's still Morris. Festus fallen over. It's Morris still. And what is the decision? It's a penalty. So the captain has taken the responsibility. It's Sean Dyke, who's not scored for four years. And Chesterfield! Emerson, good ball, Clayton Blackmore got it trapped beneath his feet, but there's a chance here for Ravanelli, and that's 2-1. Just what Middlesbrough needed. Perkins, Kevin Davis, Fields for offside, what doing? Curtis is waiting on the corner of the box, good play by Davis. This is Hewitt, Curtis. some pushing going on and it's a free kick to Middlesbrough Hard for the linesman there it's so quick we had to rely on the, the replay but again it brings into question uh, what we've always said does the referees or a referee's assistants need help in this moment and it's shades of Euro 96 and that game at Newcastle this is Janino it's a penalty the foul by Sean Dyche And the FA Cup tends to throw up moments like this. Craig Hicknett, who's going to take the penalty, and Billy Mercer are close friends. And Mercer died over the ball. One friend beats another. And Middlesbrough, having looked dead and buried, are back in the game with 20 minutes to go at 2-2. Janino. Emerson's available this time. It's still Janino. Ravanelli. Oh, no, a chance for Vickers. Came back off the underside of the bar, it's Festa! And for the first time in this dramatic topsy-turvy semi-final, Middlesbrough are in front. Still, Chesterfield have something left. This may fall to Hewitt! Jamie Hewitt has equalised for Chesterfield! What an extraordinary semi-final this is! Barely a minute remaining. Chesterfield look to be down and out. And now they're down, but far from out. Blackmore. Here's Muster. 
It's out of play and we're now in stoppage time at the end of extra time. And Middlesbrough had virtually started the celebrations. Jules, surely there couldn't be a winner now at this stage. There won't be. But no one will argue with the prospect of another meeting between these two sides.